Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ebby with Ebby Reviews, and this is going to be my review for Chasing Atlanta, Season 4, Episode 10, the season finale. It's called The Revelation. It's called The Revelation. Okay, chub. I want you to know that this is an hour and 36 minutes and f 5 seconds. It's an hour and 36 minutes. So please appreciate the fact that I'm doing this. Let's get into it. Wait a damn minute. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this little song is with Carrie D and Oliver. But it's a certified bop. Okay. Okay. I am not mad at this. Okay, okay, this is a good start. Okay. Okay, pause. So, apparently, and I want to know what the tea is. Oh, my God. So, Laura, so Oliver is at his photo shoot for his Wee Twix. For, that's, that's what they're doing. The remix for Zap featuring whoever, Alondra, Alondra, and Carrie D. So he calls FaceTimes Lauren and he's like, bitch, you should have been here for the photo shoot. And she's like, I'll be there tomorrow because we got to talk. And he was like, well, what about? And he was like, you know, your friend Miss Kendra uh, is lying about why she got arrested. Everything that body's thinking is because of the boyfriend and drugs and stuff like that. And apparently it's something she did on her own accord. And Lauren, this petty hoe, talk about I'm about to buy billboards. Everybody finna know this tea, boo. Cause you wouldn't leave me alone. I ain't have a problem, but you always got a problem with me. Always talk about me. And now I'm finna blow you and up. And apparently she's gonna bring it out at the white party where everybody's supposed to kumbaya. And Oliver is like, no, I can't advise Miss Lauren um how she should handle this because you know Kendra's been going at her and going at her. But why can't we just go to the people party, drink their liquor, and then you have a one on one? And smack her in the forehead with the information then why you gotta fuck up the party child i agree but i also want to know what the tea is can y'all tell us the audience i mean what's what's happening okay so we see travis and he's talking to coco from swd he's telling her about the white party that he's trying to have and get everybody together because you feel like nobody knows each other because everybody's fighting and she gives him some advice and he said he's gonna have a tarot card reader He'll come and read the girls down and then he invites her onto his show for the third season and she accepts so that's the thing that happened moving on Pause. so we are at oliver's seasoning soft launch and it's a very nice event um travis cameron dominique and Rico with a K came. Um, of course, the cast members all got together and talked about how Lauren wasn't there. They don't know why. They making assumptions. Um, apparently, Troy was in, out of the town, so he couldn't be there. Um, I'm sure he didn't invite Kendra. But um, apparently, it was a nice event. They talked some more about Travis's white party. Um, he's telling them there ain't going to be no liquor there, so you just get your minds right now. Because y'all get drunk and y'all act like y'all don't got good sense. So, um, all in all, and, and Oliver gives this heartfelt speech uh, about see, not wanting to disappoint. Uh, and anyone. it's just very heartfelt and sweet. Um, he thanks his mama. Paris Bennett is there, who's a good friend of his. And he just says he doesn't want to let down so into anyone. his life. He wants them to see reap the harvest of their um, sewing. So I thought that was very nice. Uh, before <laughs> Cameron get into the mix. <laughs> Cause Rico with a K is an idiot. <laughs> so they arrive at the party. So apparently it was a series of unfortunate events with Travis at this party. His outfit didn't show up. His car broke down. The people is late with the food. The tarot card reader, she owned her. And so they show up. He had to throw on something. The same shirt that he wore to Troy birthday situation and some white paints. <sighs> Rico said, now I already paid $30 at one event and I ain't even get no food. Now you talk about you was going to have this, you're going to have that. And I done arrived and ain't nothing. He's like, baby boy, where's the food? 
Can I get some wine? <laughs> Understand. Before, before we get to the Ponderosa, I just would like to say, Miss T.S. Kendra, bitch, that outfit, bitch, bitch. Lord, what is this you seeing in me, Gail? This outfitted, the outfitted, darling lady, ma'am, sister, daughter, niece. Yes, ma'am. I just wish your purse was white. That's the only, that's the only, that's the only thing I got. I just wish your purse was white because that red, I know it's a pop of color, but I really feel like if the white the purse was white, it would have been, oh, chef kiss. Ooh, girl. I just want to let. So, Troy and Kendra, Troy take Kendra aside. They have a little heartfelt conversation. They apologize to each other and all is right in their world. Uh, Kendra was very articulate in saying how she was hurt and about him throwing a cup and all of that good stuff. And so, but they have come to a meeting of the minds with no cussing, fussing, throwing blows. Good job, you guys. Pause. 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 Oh, this shit is just blowing me. But I feel you, though. Wait, why won't this... Okay, so... <sighs> Kendra, this is part of the issue. This is part of the problem. So, everybody's going around to hash out their issues with everyone. So, Dominique and Travis are squashed. Dominique and Lauren, squashed. Troy says he has an issue with Oliver. And he tells him that, you know, it hurt my feelings. That when the thing happened at the brunch, when it popped off at the brunch. And I fought for you, but you didn't do the same for me. And I felt like you just left me out there. And Oliver was like, I receive what you're saying to me. And I understand it. And it's my fault. And I apologize because I never felt meant for you to feel like I'm just leaving you out there and hanging you out to dry to leave you out there by yourself. And they squashed their issue. And now Kendra has an issue with the fact that Troy. And now Kendra has an issue that now Troy and Oliver are back good. Because he came and made it good with her first. And now he's making it good with Oliver. And now she's like, well, whose side are you on? Why does he have to be on anyone's side? He's on his side. He can be good with the both of you. It's not a one. It's not a you either my friend or you their friend. But you can't be both our friends. You you can't tell somebody how to, that. You can't put those kind of parameters on people. That's not how it works. Not as an adult. That's not how it works. Okay. So we're in the midst of the power of three and Kendra and them trying to get it right and get it and get to come to some common ground. But here's the issue. They, they let Kendra and Lil Wayne, that's not his name, Wayne the Pain, say all of that. Let them have their peace. Say what, what their issue was. Blase, bloom, beauty, blue. Now, when it comes for the power of three to say what their issues are, now, Kendra and Wayne don't want to hear it. They rolling their eyes. That, that's not what we talking about. Da, 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 da. Well, are y'all going to hash out the issues? It's not you just say what your issue is and you don't get to listen to the other person. That's not how you resolve the issue. Y'all both sides need to be able to air out their grievances. And then y'all come to some kind of middle ground. But it don't seem like hey, at this point. I don't think that's the end of the episode. Good final thoughts. Okay, so um, this was a good episode as long as hell. Um, I think a lot of stuff could have been cut out because it was unnecessary. I'm happy that Kendra was able to mend fences with Troy and Oliver. Um, I guess they saving the mending of the fence with Lauren. If they're ever going to be able to mend that fence for next season, if they both come back for next season. Uh, Kendra did go into her court date and she came back out. So she free. It's over with, I guess, and done with. So which made what she went in there for irrelevant at this juncture. So there's that. Um, it's a good season. Now I'm going to go hop over to Scotty by Nature's TV's channel where they're interviewing Oliver. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kid, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.